Okay. Okay. <laughs> Who's up next? Brian. Brian is up next, and then Tim. Whoa. Woo. Too loud. And up next, Tim. On the quiet store. Okay. Tim, are you here? Tim? Okay. Do you need anything? How do you how do you get the, the golden pick? I've seen that a couple times now. Yeah. Talk to Heath Satterfield. Uh, he should be around. I'm not sure. Is he in here? Yeah. Keith? Keith, where are you at? He engraves everything. Oh, no. Right. There he is. Yeah. He looks like Hello, sirs. Answer your question. Hello, Travis, Keith. Travis wants an engraved pick. I, I like the golden pick. I was just observing how nice it is. Okay. And up next, Keith. Um, hello. Hello. Oh, no. That wasn't a summons. No. We're in the middle uh -huh. of the show, my dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The goods. We'll talk later. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I sure am. Yeah. I'm sure. Get away. All right. Hey guys. Yeah. Hey Brian. Hey. Hey. So I'm Brian. Um, you guys may know me from past things. Like I tend to like get fingers in pies that I didn't know pies or had enough fingers for. Uh, I'm a uh, yeah. Variously on the, like, used to run the Jonathan Colton forums back when I, like, thought that was a good use of my time, and, uh, <laughs> then sometimes, some of you may know me from Hamilton, some of you may know me as the person who, like, has the melodica, but not the one who knows how to play it well here, um, <laughs> yeah, there's, I, I'm just in stuff, uh, and one of those things I do that you may not know is that I write lyrics, one of those things I don't actually do is, like, perform them, so, uh, here we go, some spoken word, I've got a couple of things, and what I've discovered while rehearsing for this is that spoken word is like, not only do you get like, like those long cigarettes are kind of uh, you know, bad for the throat and all, but also uh, it, like snapping, like actually not as easy as it looks if you have to keep doing it. Like it's, there's a bit of a, like a repetitive strain thing going on, workplace in, like, injury. So if and when I start faltering on this, like feel free to like start like clapping or stomping or like try to try to not do the same beat or something. But I've got a couple things for you. Uh, one is like one of the better things I've written and one of them is also a thing I've written. Um, <laughs> here's the second one of those. The, uh, this is called Girl with a Blog and I wrote it with some help with some people for a couple of years ago. Um, people like on this boat that is. Um, yeah, this is Girl with a Blog. She can she can possibly yeah. She compulsively tweets every meal that she eats, and she Instagrams the menu when the food and receipts, and she tags us all to join her every time she's going out for drinks. I'll religiously read her when they're supposed to her feed, but yeah, I'll follow her, but not as far as this could lead. But even though I sort of like the things she sees and hears and reads and thinks, because I clicked all those links, I really think so, but I shouldn't fall in love with the girl with the blog. Not with the girl with the blog, with the girl with the blog. I shouldn't fall in love with the girl with the blog. All the secrets she shows, all the thoughts she'll disclose, I forget there's a inner side of her that nobody knows, all the fascinating facets that her Facebook friends have never seen. Now she's put up a list of all the people she's kissed, and it isn't that it bothered me that they exist, but I need to stop imagining I'll see myself appear on screen, if you know what I mean. And what I mean is that I shouldn't fall in love with the girl with the blog, not with the girl with the blog, not with the girl with the blog, I shouldn't fall in love with the girl with the blog. And I know, it's only in my head and I know It's better left than said and it's better left than read and it's better left than dead and I know Cause after all, if we dated, it might get complicated When our evening out and little jokes get regurgitated When our stories get reorganized and sanitized and sliced apart And I could deal with it better not to read up upset her And how I used to understand but now I just don't get her What she's writing when we're fighting, what I was saying How she'd broken my heart when I broke when I've broken her heart, but don't let me start because I shouldn't fall in love with the girl with the blog, not with the girl with the blog, not with the girl with the blog. I shouldn't fall in love with the girl with the blog. All right, one more. <laughs> this kind of need a little bit of actual participation, not just like passive encouragement. Thanks. Uh, this uh, thing is uh, the, um, uh, the one of the first things I've read the first year I was on the, the cruise, and. Uh, it's still better than most things I've written, so I figured it's been long enough. Um, yeah, this one, uh, you'll have heard, uh, if I say it's called Over and Over, then hopefully those of you who have heard it before can just like help me out with it. But yeah. um, your participation part, well, first off, when I clap, like, follow the pattern, clap when I say over, uh, when I clap, when you clap, say over. 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 
Over. Feel free to join in. On the over. Over. Feeling overburdened. Over. Feeling overbooked. Looking over all the little things I overlooked. Bending over, over. backwards. Smoothing over, over stress. Sweating over. over small stuff, but we broke up all over. the less. Over. Over. Getting over anxious. Getting over rot. Thinking over, over all the things I think I overthought. Over. Still can't over. overstate how wretched being over feels. Still can't over. overcome the way my head still over heals. Over. Over. Falling over, over, Manny. Fretting over, over one. Getting over. over what I did is getting over done. Turning over, over fresh leaves. Starting over, over new. To paper over, over day on day. Now I'm not over, over. you. Well done, but also well done. Ended right at zero zero. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible.